Welcome back, guys, to Horizon Forbidden West, where last episode with all melee pits defeated, we headed off for the final challenge, meeting the Enduring before facing her in single combat to earn a spear upgrade. After following tracks of some green shine in the jungle, we started our assault on the Fenrise Rebel camp, dispatching everyone within as we now search the command center. Poor Rebel Champion. That was some incredibly fast rigor mortis. Hey, look! It's me! It's me. To all engineers and operatives, find the Nora that's been picking apart our facilities. And if anyone calls her savior or champion to my face again, I'm gonna punch him in the throat! Sarah! We need you! Hold on to your cogs, I'll be right there! I want her found, and I want her dead. And bring me her focus when you're done. Bet Silence would hate it if I got hold of all that data. So there it is. Silence is involved with the Sons of Prometheus. Didn't we already know that? A map. If I'm looking at this right... All roads leading into the jungle go through this village. Take more of their goodies, that's for sure. Hot. I'm sweating everywhere. Judging by the look of this place, it's important to the loyalist to knock. But the rebels don't seem to like it much. Capturing this place is good strategy on the rebels' part. But I think there's more to it than that. This village holds some special significance to the tribe. I think Regala was sending a message when she ordered her troops to take it. That sounds like trouble. I better see what's going on. There's more danger going on here? The Tanakhs just come to take this place back? They've won. <laughs> is it Avira? Who is it? Well, they came at the right time, didn't they? Aloy, you came after all. Good talk. You have impeccable timing. First, you helped us ambush these scabs out in the wilds. Now, you've helped us liberate our village. For that, we owe you our thanks. Fenrise is a sacred place to my clan. Here we train for the trials that make us into full-fledged soldiers. And here we are marked as such when the trials are won. It is where Hikaru himself became a soldier. So taking this place was a show of strength by Regala. A failed one, thanks to you. We'll return it to its former glory and defend it from any rebels in the area. Sounds like you can take care of things from here then. I'll get going. I hope we meet again. I remember now we met her and helped her on the way to meet with Talana. But we did the salvage quest if I remember correctly. That was a long while ago. But hey, another camp cleared. Mission complete. So what's next on the menu? Yeah, the sons of Prometheus know who I am. Stopping them isn't going to be any easier. At least now I've got a name. Sarah. Their leader. I should talk to Erend. Maybe he knows who she is. Oh, it sounds like time to go back to camp then.
doesn't it? And if we go back to camp, I guess we might finally go to Cold and Gemini and do the plan. So let's go see if we can find anything out. The last time, Erin didn't really tell me anything until later on, it felt like. There must be more talking to do back here, to be honest. You never know when more talking points pop up. Or quests. So I may have forgot about. Well, look, everyone wants to speak. Yeah, there was a quest here. I forgot about it entirely. the planet technology really can be an amazing thing yeah until it gets a mind of its own and uh, decides to kill everyone now what are you supposed to be Only for you. let's find out what's going on with alva i hope i'm not interrupting not at all i was just studying the pulse generator schematics the ones gaia and beta built <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable is everything all right it sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. There's a lot to talk to you about. Should we talk after or before? She might have more after, to be honest. Let's talk before and then go help her on the quest. Any more data catch your eye? All of it? I have so much to study up on. Years, actually. I'm particularly interested in the Odyssey. We knew the ancestors had made it to the moon. In fact, we theorized some of them had settled on it. But Sirius is way farther than that. And we thought journeying across the ocean would be the feat of a lifetime. The sheer calculations needed for space travel. It's overwhelming to think about. Even so, the Quen are way ahead of other tribes when it comes to understanding this stuff. Where I grew up, everyone thought that stars were sparks that rose from a fire lit by the goddess to guide us through the night. Have you spoken with Zoe at all? A little bit, but uh, I did hear her singing with Varl not too long ago. I don't think they noticed. So seemed so uh, free when she did it. Like every emotion she had was taking flight in song. Uh, and she looked happier because of it. Uh, I felt so dull and nervous in comparison. You should ask so to teach you sometime about Utaru music. Maybe. If you need anything before heading out to the cauldrons, you have nothing to worry about. Gaia's explained your plan in detail, as expected from such an efficient AI. I've even received some very, um, uh, succinct combat advice from Kotalo. You know, uh, in case the Zeniths show up. What kind of advice? He, um, told me to run. For now. We'll even the odds soon enough. I mean, Katala would do the same. It's not a bad thing to say. That's completely the correct information. Must be strange to think that some of the ancestors your tribe reveres are still alive. And here on Earth, right now. Yeah, it is. Part of me is curious to know who else besides Eric Visser might be among them. Maybe Nikita Arand? We call her the Spark. The legacy tells us she brought unlimited energy to the Old Ones. Or Song Zhao, whom we call the Healer. It is said she found new ways to extend the ancestors' lifespans. But my curiosity fades when I think of how different our view of Visser was compared to the reality that you experienced. Perhaps it is better not to know. Ever meet your heroes in a different way delivered, isn't it, again? Right, so quest. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago, 
a sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding, but we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is, well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. A couple of quests there now, really. I should go. Make sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the pulse generators. May your path lead to truth. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Okay, we will return to talk to more people here, but Forbidden Legacy... Whatever it was called, is our next quest all the way over in Legacy Landfall. Let's get going. Let's help, Alva. Then Cauldron time. What are you I promise! said one of the diviners here might know where the Leviathan research facility is. Better let her know I'm here. Hey, Alva? I'm in landfall. Can you meet me here? I'll be there as soon as I can. Aloy! I'm here. I had to sneak past a few machines on the way, but I made it. All right. Ready to talk to that diviner? Yes. He's right over there. Diviner Alva, what are you doing back in Landfall? And with the Living Ancestor? We're looking for the At Bay Research Center, where Leviathan was developed. The legacy tells us it's somewhere in the city. Alva mentioned you've been collecting data in the area. Do you know where it is? Uh, yes, I stumbled across it, but there was no data there, only crumbling ruins. Tell us anyway. We might be able to find something you missed. Please, don't trouble yourself. I, I, I sh assure you, our search was very thorough. Mm, you're hiding something. What? That... that is absurd. A diviner must only speak truth, as you're well aware. Oh, you're worried you found something dangerous. Something compromising on Eileen Sasaki? Keep your voice down. Look, I get it, Nirik. You want to make it back to your family, so it's safer to turn a blind eye. But think of Leviathan. How it could help everyone. Isn't that why we're here? Don't let fear deny us that. Very well. The facility's just south of here, along the shore. But even if you find a way to fix Leviathan, it's sure to be shrouded in that which is forbidden. Too often the truth is forbidden. Come on, let's go. To the south. I couldn't leave Alva waiting for a quest before I did Cold and Gemini. Gotta deal with our regrets and all that before we go to war. <laughs> Which we may well be doing considering the signals we're putting up. Having so, a good day. Yeah, I'm having a great day. So I'm not <laughs> bad with that diviner back there. We've come a long way since we first met. And Nerex like I used to be. Terrified of a misstep. And with the overseers, he has every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the greenhouse, uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. 
Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much is kept from us. I'm tired of it. That should be the facility ahead. We need to find a way in. I'll be under water again at this rate. Up here. Well, Amiric wasn't lying about crumbling ruins, at least. Let's look around. Okay, I'm sure nothing evil awaits me. Uh, Aloy, why is the ground shaking? That's not good, whatever it is. Whoa, that, that thing is huge! Oh, don't, don't, no, 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 we'll no. We have to take it out if we want to find that data. Uh, that, you're not Leviathan. Okay. Like and when I see something to shoot at, I will shoot. My ears. Oh, stop doing that! My ears! Now you've acided me. A oh, nice knockdown, whoever did that. <laughs> I say that because it definitely wasn't me. Something bad going on in the middle of all this. Oh, I hit the tail. That's not too bad. It is a weak spot after all. Well, I was expecting you to do the lightning strike attack, not actually physically strike me with lightning. Yeah, that one. The one that instantly kills me. Whee! Oh. See, the issue is here that, uh... Pretty much covered. I think I just popped his acid canister. If I overdraw this thing... It's getting hit hard. It's like a battle of attrition currently. We're both hitting each other for every hit we do. Down it goes. A terribly, terribly bad fight, really. I kind of felt weirdly enclosed in because this is the back here. I should have been able to back off, though, if I was paying any proper attention. I say look around, but where exactly are we looking? Is that metal clamp on the inside or the out? Out. like going into bordery bits <laughs> okay that's from the inside oh no I can open it from the out after you time for a swim mm, at least the water is not freezing Okay. Look at this place. I always try to imagine what it must have been like back when the old ones were here. It's less of a climb, I bet. Come on, let's check the upper floors.
Definitely goodies. <laughs> you okay? On every expedition, the soldiers would lay down walkways and barriers first to protect us diviners. But this is actually kind of fun. <laughs> You training a replacement Aloy? <laughs> there, the console. Must have been what Nerik found. Let's see if it has anything on Leviathan. Oh, the data on Leviathan isn't here. But there's some kind of log. Delete the database. But Miss Sasaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms, over 400 dead. The data is clear. Omaroma is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database and forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Yes, ma'am. That was her. The ancestor, Eileen Sasaki. Hundreds dead. And she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on. Let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. Recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. And to their corporate headquarters. Uh, there. Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. But I've already been there. Haven't I? So what was that other system the recording mentioned? Omu Ramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. I seem to know a lot about this ancestor. Diviner spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Eileen Sasaki in the process. Though, now I wonder how much of it is actually true. Entrance is blocked. Gonna have to find another way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. You're the boss. If this is the place I climbed up before for the relic ruin. Why is it telling me about reviving an incapacitated mount right now? <laughs> wow, she just jumped all the way up there. She's amazing. <laughs> She's hiding here, athletic chops. Hello. I think this is as far as our soldiers got. It's the one I've got already, isn't it? We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. I'll follow your lead. I love how Aloy's lead is to always be excessively destructive. Or correctly destructive, depending on how you look at it. Up we go. I quite like this bit music when you've got the climbing and all you that okay, going on for a quest. Yes. Don't worry about me. Actually quite a good driving track, I feel. <sighs> Glint Hawk. Great. Did it see us? I don't think so, but we'll have to be careful. Or shoot it. How are we 
going to get across? Oh, that beam looks promising. I seem to be skipping ahead a little bit. Uh, this is a lot higher up than I thought. <laughs> Why, Aloy? Why? Talks. Well, we have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by and, you know, not fall off the tower. I have another plan. The ability to tame machines would be dangerous knowledge for the coin. Think about it. That worked too well, actually. I <laughs> wasn't expecting it to literally one shot the first one and take over the other one. But it does mean the one I've taken over is just going to be a problem later now, isn't it? Unless we leave. Or we get to our destination before it turns uh, back. Aloy? We're really high off the ground. You can do it, Olva, okay? Just don't look down. Right. <laughs> of course. Super easy. It is, yeah. There's the tower. Should be able to cross over. That yeah, doesn't we sound are good. Going to have to After you. Gotta clear some of that debris first. Should be able to make it to the other side. What just hit me in the head? The thing I pulled. <laughs> sure I do this right? Come on, Alva. You can do it. It's okay. Please don't break. Ah! Alva! Ah, I'm okay! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that would have been a long way to fall. Yeah, can you uh, get in a little bit? Because there's a glint hole there now. You're okay. Yeah. No, I'm fine. Let's keep going. Well, here's some data. Passcode reminder reset. Mr. Hale, IC security would like to emphasize again that entering your private passcode in the passcode reminder field does not meet digital security standards. As such, your passcode has been reset. Again, please choose an appropriate reminder in the future. Oh my god. Um, yes, but where's the reminder bit? Does that mean I'll find it in the reminder? Oh, well, the door's locked. I think it needs a passcode. Let's look around. Oh. This says the code is the month and year the company was founded. According to the legacy, it was October 2023. Thank you. What good is a passcode reminder if it doesn't tell me what the passcode is? The next time I'm trying to set up the conference room for a board meeting and I get locked out because I can't remember the stupid passcode, figures will be pointed at you. You want an unhelpful, useless passcode reminder? Fine. At bay founding date, month and year. There. Happy now, you IT security morons. My god, he's one of them. So, if it's six so digit... The company was founded in October. Which is the tenth month of the year. Thank you. I could do calendars. Door should be unlocked now. Maybe the data on Leviathan isn't here. Cost reduction strategy. We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omaramba, but this is worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad, shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? 
Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omorambo wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher up. Hey, do she did indeed. Uh, dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. Interesting. There's a save point, yeah. There's green shine nearby as well. I guess I had to look left. Oh no, wait, where, where am I looking? So pull it out the other shaft. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That's no good. Can't get a caster on that. Stupid blue light, I didn't see that at all. Let's see where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. Wonder where the sparkling noise is coming from. Hey, Lord. Hey, Lord lives for this weirdly. Hey, Alva. Yes. There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost, or... forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. I remember all these buildings being designed with climbing bits. <laughs> Funny thing is, the amount of people that do climb those, like, structures that they shouldn't be climbing. Corporate buildings and the whatnot. Being as high as it is, is always kind of crazy. Are you doing okay, Aloy? Hey, timing yeah, to ask. It's just a long way up. Huh. I'm Aloy, and I'm going to shoot for the furthest part of that thing I'm going at. Second jump on it wasn't good, was it? Oh my goodness. Can we do that too? Okay. Every time. My assumption is I could just jump to there, right? My god, I landed on it. That's not good. Ooh. I'm supposed to go. Okay, you can jump. You jump from there to there. How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? Not yet. Thank God Alva's got good at- well, Aloy's got good aim. Whew. Well, that's done with. <laughs> <laughs> 